your mom's probably a like you these loser trash people got trash parents and they raise trash kids, okay? So here we go, this is Twitter. We'll start here because Daisy, the woman in question, and Walter from Fresh and Fit, Fresh, she leaked some messages between the two of them, pictures of two pregnancy tests. We love to see it. She said, you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening, you walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and to take the responsibility. Now, Daisy is a, a Chinese woman, so she has an accent, a little bit of broken English, but she's, you know, you understand what she's saying, right? There's not like confusion here. Fresh Walter says, I'll call you shortly. She says, take your time. He calls, says, I can't have kids. She says, take responsibility for your actions. He goes, what's this? She goes, read it, blood test, pregnancy, blood test. He says, I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. She sends the numbers, highlights the part where it says pregnant. Three to four weeks, doctor says, he says, okay, okay. Um, she says, it's our baby and you want to kill our baby. You are not being a good human. He says, it's not about that right now. It's not good. A lot is happening, especially now business may be over. Not sure what that's referencing. Maybe the podcast. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. She goes, I never agreed. Question mark. I agree based on your actions. You are not educated if you keep C-U-M inside of me on me and will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behave behavior. Words mean nothing, man up. I'm not saying because I want to be with you because I don't because you're nothing to me. But the baby is innocent. He said, you should have a kid with someone you are in love uh, in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up, question mark. I'm telling you now so you know. She says, I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in, in your house and when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you did see you M in me with your own pleasure. Be logic and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. He says, Walter, <clears throat> what are you saying? We are not together and won't be. Why would that be good for the kid or for a kid? She says, so why did you see you M inside of me? He said, also things happen and yes, feelings change, but bringing a kid into this world without both parents' love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Now that's for a few reasons. Some people think Walter's had a vasectomy. That's not been confirmed. Some people, you know, are having – some people are very passionate about the abortion topic, which I want to get into as well. But um, let's keep going. So he said it was a joke. She said, all I'm saying is that you should take the responsibility for what you did. I'm a victim in this relationship, and I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. He says, also, now I'm worried I have to test other girls, at least four. She said, another girl, question mark, four girls. You were saying you have sex with four girls without protection. Up, you have all the money for your child support, children's support. You finally admit you are fucking fucking trash. You are, wait, you are a fucking fucking trash. I love her. He says, I don't have money. Good luck. LOL. You will see. I don't know what is going on with Walter's finances, but he actually did do a podcast recently, both with Myron and himself on the ice coffee hour. And it was apparent that Myron was much better with money and uh, Fresh was really bad with money. Myron kept trying to like protect him, vouch for him, uh, sort of, you know, because even Steph Graham Stephan was like, hey, like, it's not a bad business move. And Myron's like, no, 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 no. Um, Walter knows what he's doing. But it's kind of obvious that Walter doesn't know what he's doing with money. Also, I think it's interesting that all of these men, Andrew Huberman, um, him, Fresh at Fit, why are they having unprotected sex with people? So that's why the theory that Myron or my sorry, the theory that Walter had a vasectomy sort of floating around because that would explain why he had unprotected sex thinking not about STIs, of course, because people are stupid, but about pregnancy. I'm not sure if that's true. And so, again, I'm a little confused on why he would take this risk, especially since they had Rolo Tomasi on, who I know we don't like him, but even he is always warning people about getting the wrong people pregnant. Now, of course, a lot of people are assuming Daisy's a uh, gold digger. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised given the kind of women that Fresh and Fit engage with. But at the same time, according to Daisy, she has money. She doesn't have that problem. She's gone 50-50 in this relationship, which she actually posed receipts for. So maybe 
the thing that I'm fascinated already with is the abortion topic. And we'll get over that when we do when we listen to the phone call they had between one another. But it is interesting to see people calling abortion killing a baby because though I think that is true, you're ending a human life. I don't think it's quite true that it is like killing a baby, but I think it is killing a human in progress, which you can decide how you feel about that, whether that clump of cells is quite a baby, whether it's not. But it'd be weird to be in a bubble with Fresh and Fit and not assume they're pro-choice. But also, ironically, they are, I'm assuming pro-choice because Walter wants her to take the morning after pill or at least the abortion pill. Okay, so he says, good luck. Okay, so Daisy says, my name is Daisy. This is a story between me and Walter Weeks, podcaster known as Fresh IG and YouTube Fresh and Fresh Prince CEO. I met him November 21st in Miami and I fell in love with him. We spend New Year's together. That's the time when he asks me to be his girl, to commit to him. And he posted a video of us on social media. This is the girl that was featured on H3H3 as like, Walter, do you always take women to meet your mom? So she's met his family. She's gone to Barbados. He's introduced her to people. He referred to her as like wifey. He talked about having kids with her. Same MO as a lot of these fuckboy men who like lead women on and they have no intention of actually being with them, which is why women need to pay attention to the details, right? Because regardless if it's a quick relationship, a fast relationship, whatever, a short relationship, I think you need to pay attention to the probability that this man isn't just feeding you lines along with his dick. So just keep that in mind. He said to me, I love you and I don't want you to be with another man. They all say that. Men are stupid. Uh, this men in this category, not all men, just the men in this bubble, obviously. A few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Also, the women in this bubble, I think they keep thinking these men will actually pick them. And I hate to tell you this, you don't want to be picked by these men. But okay, you do you. A few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Everything went well and I showed him and his mom my respect. It's true. There's a video of her gifting his mother a nice gift. He defended me on his podcast from the rumors. That's the moment I truly fell in love with him again. And this is where the game began. So she's accusing him of basically being a scammer. But I'm just telling you right now, all fuck boys are scammers. All boys who talk about women like they're second class citizens are scammers. Because they're always going to pretend they're good men who are gentlemen while abusing and using you. Right? Like all these men who talk, whether they're progressives or conservatives or traditionalists or red pillars, if they boast about being good to women while they're cheating, gaslighting, or using and abusing women, they're just fuck boys pretending to be gentlemen. So again, I don't know why women keep falling for this. So I'm going to hold her responsible for even believing he could love her. But he or her, no, apparently, according to Daisy, in private, he was much more gentlemanly and nicer and sweeter to her. So she thought the Fresh and, Fist po Fresh and Fit podcast was kind of like a shtick, which in her defense, lots of men use this line like, oh, baby, that's just for work. Even Andrew Huberman, according to his girlfriend, according to the women on the podcast, he would go on Joe Rogan and they would say, oh, you have a girlfriend. And women he was newly dating would say, oh, I heard you had a girlfriend already. And he said, oh, no, that's just for show. That's because I have stalkers. Like these men play 4D chess with these women and then they're like, I'm the gentleman. So again, if a man boasts about being good to women, but he cheats on women, he gaslights women, I don't know why you think you're going to be the chosen pussy. I don't know why these women think, yeah, but my pussy is going to change his life. He's actually going to pick me. Why do you want to be picked by a man that's cheated? Why do you want to picked by, be picked by a man that gaslights? Why do you want to be picked by a man who literally talks shit about women for a living? This is about you, ladies. Why do you want that kind of man? Ask yourself. And then, of course, the men in this bubble are convinced women want shitty men because they keep picking us. Now, the irony, of course, is that Fresh and Fit's bubble will say, oh, you know, um, uh, we don't want gold diggers, but they keep picking them. The women say we don't want men who abuse us, but they keep picking them. Yeah, you guys all belong with one another. OK, now, OK. It keeps going. This is from Daisy. I left Miami on January 8th, traveled back to China for Chinese New Year. The The night before we had a serious conversation, he said he sees me like someone to spend his whole life with. And I told him I was going to move to Miami for him. From then, we started a long distance relationship for two months until I traveled to Barbados and I met his entire family. He, uh, oop, this is kind of hard to read. He said he was real serious, said he was so real that he was serious with me, therefore, I am not on both birth control. This is both control, but birth control. And we had sexual behavior without protection. I was ready to have a baby with him and built a family. He asks me many times, 
What if you get pregnant? And my answer toward him was, yes, I want to keep the baby. I don't mind having a have a baby with you. OK, then she shares a text message, right? Oh, my God, our kids are going to look like them. They're so cute. LOL. I know uh, you were typing me this Blasian. So basically, they were at a dinner party sitting next to each other and there were other people at the table so they couldn't verbally talk. So they were texting one another while sitting next to each other about how cute their kids are going to look. Right. Basic fuck boy MO, guys. OK, March 12th, we traveled back to Miami together. At first, everything was fine. I stayed in his apartment. We had a mutual understanding. He is not a monogamous person. That me and him, both our needs, uh, both our both needs our own space. So I suggested him to help me rent an apartment. He said, I want you to have the things you want as you understand me. Ten days later, a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises. That's how he told me he loves me and wants to see me long see it in the long term he wants to plan a future with me instead of renting an apartment better better buy a new house which i think is he is completely lying and making excuses about he used me he hurt me he was a cheater and a huge gamer like game not like a gamer you know i only found out this later and started to take his haters words when people told me negative things about him in the beginning, I always stood by his side and supported him and believed him. I chose to believe in my partner instead of an audience. The truth is, is he pretended to be high value man, date girls, then ditch them. The reason why I'm exp the problem is like he he talks about this on the pod, bro. They all talk about this on the pod. It's not a secret, bro. Didn't you see flagrant? Andrew Schultz, Akash all went in on fresh and fit because that is what they do. They pump and dump. And so again, like, I think she is naive about Walter, like she believes him, but I think she's obviously like self-sufficient. So I, I think she's like very well aware of how the world works, okay? But women constantly, especially even high-earning women, women who are, na are not naive about business, are often naive about love. Andrew Huberman specifically chose very successful women to gaslight and lie and serial cheat on. So the irony, of course, is like it doesn't matter how much you think you know about the world. If you actually believe somebody is in love with you, if you actually are in love with somebody, if you actually are invested in someone, you will fall for bullshit, which is why you have to be a good judge of character. But also there has to be some sort of understanding of that consciousness. And I think sometimes women just don't want to believe men would choose to be this cruel to them. But it is, right? Raina says, why is this moving so fast? I mean, I, if you're courting someone, if you're serious about marriage, you can get married in under three months. My brother was engaged to his wife after three months, married after six. I was engaged to my partner after six months, technically. The first engagement happened the three months, then the six months. And then we were married after uh, basically like a year. And so it's not about the fast pace because in my culture, if you're serious about marriage, you get married. If you're not serious about marriage, and you're not sure, then of course you date for a longer period of time. So it's not about the fastness. I don't think for her in China, she kept referencing Chinese culture. For me, you know, as an Asian myself, that's a joke, but like as a Middle Eastern myself, it's not fast. It's just normal. It's just, if you're serious about, if you meet each other's families, if you do all of the traditional meeting of each other's families, which they were doing, then it's not that weird, right? The question is, is is she being as malicious as he is? Because they're both, either they're both playing 4D chess or she really believed he was in love with her and thought this was her husband. Or, you know, either way, irresponsibility. Both of them are being so irresponsible. I can't believe he's having unprotected sex with multiple people, but there we are, okay? But same with Andrew Huberman. Andrew Huberman was telling women that he was only having sex with them, so they were all having unprotected sex with the same dude. So if Andrew Huberman, a guy from Stanford who's a professor there, or a scientist there is making the same mistakes as my uh, same mistakes as Walter. It's like, oh, oh, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Is there any difference when it comes to a man and his dick, whether he went to Stanford or whether he's Walter from Fresh and Fit? If you all do the same shit, why do they do it? Honestly, I think because they're playing a game that they think is fun or Machiavellian or interesting or all of those things. The question is, we already know Walter's a piece of shit. We already know the men are pieces of shit. The question is, is Daisy a piece of shit? That's the question, right? Some people think so. I don't know enough about her to say, you know what I mean? We already know Walter's a piece of shit. The question is, 
is Daisy a piece of shit? Right? That's difficult to know. So let's keep going. Okay. Um, ba, ba, ba. Okay. He used me, hurt me. He was a cheater and a huge gamer. I only found this out later when started people. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I already read that. Sorry. The truth is he pretended to be a high value man, date girls, um, then ditch them. The reason I'm exposing this is because as a woman, I want to stand out for other women. I don't want any of the girls ending up like me. I think that's pretty based. I agree with this. I know a lot of people were like, why is Andrew Huberman's business uh, need to be in the public? It's just their character. Now, ironically enough, we didn't know this about Andrew Huberman. But we know this about Walter. Walter tells on himself, right? Like Walter tells on himself constantly. So for me, I didn't need Daisy's story, but I'm not surprised because I already thought Walter was this kind of person anyways. Now, Walter didn't want to have babies with her. And I do believe they probably had that conversation because I think Walter even said on his podcast he doesn't want babies uh, unless he was married. So also not surprised he doesn't want a baby. Right. She goes on to say, if I don't expose this, he will continue doing that to other naive girls. They will be there will be more women getting hurt. After a few days, he asked me to move out. He stopped coming home. He disappeared for three nights without explanation. I called him. He never answered when I did nothing wrong. When I when I was so genuine, I left my work behind in China to pursue this relationship. So I moved out, booked the first flight to New York City on March 30th. I had a pregnancy test. It's positive. Here's what happened. OK, so we went over it. OK, so interesting. I get it. I cannot figure out if Daisy is playing 4D chess and just trying to get si child support because that wouldn't be that crazy in that bubble. I figure a lot of the women fresh and fit encourage in their space is pr probably gold diggers and pretty uh, money focused people. I mean, those men are all about money. Like these men are going to pump and dump. These women are going to try to get pregnant and get your kid, right? So either way, Walter was very irresponsible with who he had sex with. Now, Walter hasn't come out and said something yet, but apparently he's going to do that later today. So we'll keep an eye out for that. I'm sure they'll try to milk that as hard as they can for views. As far as I know, Daisy did have a job in China. She has a good connection with her family. Apparently her family doesn't have an issue with money and stuff like that. So I'm not, you know, I'm not quite sure what's going on. As far as I know, she was going 50-50 on things. Now, here is some audio she leaked, right? Before, well, let's do the audio because the abortion topic comes up in the audio. So let's listen to the audio, actually, before I rant. Discord said, the one I'm most concerned about is the unborn baby right now. Well, that baby might be dead in a few weeks because, you know, abortion's legal and, like, we'd be killing our babies out here. But also, I am also concerned about this unborn child. But also, like, Walter wants her to kill it. So Walter wants a dead baby. You know what I'm saying? And she's saying, well... I might, but I, I really want to keep it and maybe I will. But like all of these things, Ren says, is she already an American citizen? I don't think she has any goals of becoming an American citizen. I don't know why she would want to become one. Right? Like, why would she want to become an American citizen? Um, Maybe for the passport, but she's not an American citizen. I don't know. I don't even know why she would want to become one. Right? Like there's, there's, it just doesn't seem very lucrative for her to become one. It doesn't make sense. But I mean, unless she wants to be here. But from my understanding, like, you know what I mean? Okay. Here's the audio she recorded and leaked. And also, I just want to say for everybody who's upset she's recording conversations with her alleged partner and all these things, I just want to keep something in mind. All these people are recording conversations. When you're in a very toxic environment, people be recording. And the same people that were calling her like malicious and methodical and awful, yeah, they're probably just upset because they themselves do very similar things. So they feel like they know what she's doing because they do the same things. But because I don't do those things, I'm looking at her and I'm not sure if she's doing it maliciously or if she's just trying to get ahead because you could be smart in business and stupid in love. You can you can be smart in so many things and be very dumb when it comes to love. So she could be smart enough to get a lawyer and smart enough to do business and smart enough to get a pregnancy test and smart enough to do a lot and still stupid enough to fall for Walter. But did she fall for Walter or did she target him because he's also an idiot? Did she target Walter because he's stupid and easy cash or was she literally in love with Walter? Okay. What? I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from the doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. 
I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. She's a Buddhist, for a ref- record. You're not killing. Okay. <clears throat> so she says, in my religion, we don't kill, which is true. But also, okay, he doesn't see it as killing something. Most people don't. A lot of people are pro-choice. I thought this was really interesting because I kept hearing from people like, I can't believe he's asking her to get an abortion. And this was not coming from pro-lifers. And I was like, if you're a pro-choicer, you can be pro-choice and still be like devastated when an abortion has to happen, right? I'm kind of on that that bubble. Like I, I kind of think it's kind of sad when we have to end a life, but also that's life. You know, you squish bugs every day. So whatever. But also it's kind of weird when pro-choicers are very emotional about having abortions, even though I know it's a big deal. I also think you should maybe ask yourself why you're so impacted by an abortion. You know what I mean? Because ultimately she's four weeks pregnant. Ultimately, like for her, for Walter has always been clear about having kids. So it feels a little disingenuous from her to be like, now I'm not going to kill this baby. You know what I mean? So I'm a little confused at this decision making a bit. Like I know it's sad and everything, but also you want to have a baby with Meyer or Fresh? Like you want to have a baby with Walter? But also, are you just using him for money? But then she's saying she doesn't need the money. And she doesn't want him in the child's life if he's if he wants to abort the baby, which I also think is reasonable. Like if Walter genuinely doesn't want a, a relationship with this baby and would rather kill the baby, then I don't think she owes him any sort of like visitation rights to the baby if she has it. But also if the government wants to give her or give him visitation, she's OK with that as well. But also there's like so many layers into this. And I'm and I'm going to say like they don't have the same values. I can't tell if she naively fell for Walter or what happened, but he definitely let her on, which is very fuckboy of him. They're all fuckboys. That's what I'm saying. All these fuckboys be leading people on. So that should have been the first red flag. But also, that doesn't mean he's obligated to sort of like, I don't think you're obligated to pay child support for a baby you didn't want in the first place. And at the same time, I don't think women who say they will have abortions or are pro-choice and then don't, should also like try to get men for their money. But also at the same time, I mean, if you're not willing to support this life you created, you're a shit person anyways. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have sex unprotected if you don't want babies. So in some ways, it's like everybody is being irresponsible in this. Like no one is respectable in this situation. Let's go, my paradoxical me. Welcome to the memberships. Thank you for joining. Appreciate that. Let's keep going with the call. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want the kids. He's always said that? No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. So she says, what are you gonna do to me? I'm not sure if it's her English and she means what are you gonna do with me, like our relationship, or if she's trying to get him on recording saying something threatening. Because the way he changes his tone here kind of does sound like he knows he's being recorded. And her asking that question, again, I'm not sure if it's her broken English. So she meant to say, like, what do you want to do with me? Which is a very different question than what are you going to do to me? One sounds like a threat to her safety. And one sounds like, what are you going to do with the relationship? Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. And then he has a smile in his voice. That's what I'm hearing. It's my opinion. I could be wrong. What would I do to you? Why would I do anything to you? What? Why would I do anything to you? No, I know. So like, how are you going to deal with this? So then she goes, how are you going to deal with this? Which insinuates either again, her just meaning, what are you going to do about the relationship? By, by saying, I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, she goes to the, to the doctor, I guess the doctor so you want a abortion i mean yeah why do you want a kid now and why so why do you want a kid now yes i want an abortion you make me pregnant now she goes well i'm pregnant now which is to be honest even my husband and i have talked about this like you know you want you don't want kids but then you get pregnant and then you have to make a decision if you're going to keep the kid or not it's a very different feeling being pregnant and then trying to make the decision 
versus not being pregnant, it's very hard to get an abortion. It's not easy. So even though I think in some ways you shouldn't go back on your word, it's also not as easy to have an abortion once you are pregnant because now you know like something's growing inside you. So your brain is like, how can I kill this thing? That's why it is so difficult to have an abortion, even though we talk about it so casually. And then at the same time, a part of me feels like don't make that promise unless you know you're going to follow through. But also no one has the right to tell you what to do with your body. So like if you want to keep that baby, you got to, you know. I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. Like. So just think about it. It's meant to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month and I'm pregnant. So I don't know if she actually believes this. I don't know if this is like real for her that she feels like, wow, you've been having sex for seven years, which by the way, does that mean he was a virgin seven years ago? But seven years haven't gotten a baby or a woman pregnant, haven't been pregnant, and now you're pregnant after a month. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about it, if like if you force me to kill the baby. Now, of course, he can't force her to kill the baby, so that's first and foremost. She has her rights; she can make the decision. He can't force her to have an abortion, so I think that's kind of dishonest, right? Like your partner can't force you to have an abortion unless you live in a country where that's a thing. So she certainly in New York or Miami are not, is not going to be forced to have the abortion. Um, if anything, in Florida, they don't want you to have an abortion, so she'd have to go somewhere else probably. Um, wait, then you're a sin. Oh, so now she's using religion against him. I'm not even sure if Walter practices a religion. So I'm a little confused on that. And then if she was religious, why was she with a non-religious man? Now, again, she's not Christian, so she's Buddhist. So there's like a different, there's different rules there. Well, we already sinned by having sex. We already sinned by having sex. Is it? against buddhism to have sex before marriage i don't know if that's true lakara welcome to the memberships appreciate you but it's too late now you know but honestly okay so that's the end of the call apparently she didn't want to leak the rest of it okay fine then here's the video i want to show you here there was a lot of conversation about how close they were in their relationship what she meant to him you know how in like when he takes her to meet his family in Barbados when they have those conversations it's like for her it's real he's saying I love you I want to have kids with you she's really internalizing this as real like she's the one he picked her blah 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 with with everything going on I think there's a couple things that stand out to me one I'm not sure why it's wrong for him to ask her to get an abortion feel like if you're pro-choice, that's a perfectly good ask, especially since she said she would prior to getting pregnant. Two, I also understand why she would want to keep that baby because once you're pregnant, it's harder to have an abortion. Three, I think it makes sense that her religion is coming into play, but I think it's a little dishonest that it didn't come into play when choosing her partner. Four, Myron, uh, fr God, sorry, Walter's obviously a fuck boy who lied to her in order to keep like four girls in his like arena. Five, we're going to watch this H3H3 H3 clip where – Myron basically outs Walter as taking multiple women to meet his mother. So we're sitting here and I wasn't. Do you remember I called this weeks ago when we watched this podcast? H3, Ethan said, how many women do you take to meet your mother? Don't you think that means she's important to you? And I said, that doesn't make any sense. People take hoes to meet their moms all the time. Your mom's probably a hoe. Like you, these fucking loser trash people got trash parents and they raise trash kids. Okay. So I called it like a month ago when we saw this or whatever it was. And here is Myron outing Walter as a guy who always takes women to meet his mom as a way to like trick these women basically into thinking they're important, which Daisy says she didn't know until she saw this clip because she thought she was the only one having unprotected sex with him and the only one who was wifey material and the only one who was like meeting his mom and going to Barbados to meet the families, you know? So he's with different women every day. That's not one of his many no, girls. No, he's not. It's concept to you because you're, yes, bro, many girls have met his mom if I'm going to break the fucking bubble to you. I'm sure that's. Well, did Myron say bubble? 
True. <laughs> Walter, you, uh, Walter, you do not strike many me as a dude who brings girls mom, around your mama e easily. So I'm gonna say it for him. Look, many girls have met his mom. That's number one. Is that right? Many girls have met his mom. That means his mom's a hoe too for letting all those women meet him. How are you gonna be this man's mother and let him bring around hoe after hoe? Okay. How are you gonna be this man's mother and not be like, what are you doing? Why are you bringing hoes home to meet me? How fucking disrespectful is that? Hey, Walter, hold on. That's yes. a funny thing. Walter, how many girls meeting your mom? Damn. Many so, girls have met mom, okay? How so many that's girls not meeting your mom? Walter, shit, respect her. So Myron is literally outing, my, well, Myron is outing Walter right now, and Walter's like, fuck. Because <laughs> none of the girls knew, bro. He doesn't want to answer. Respect your mama's time, man. <laughs> yeah, respect your mama's time, but the mama doesn't respect her own time because she a hoe. He exposed me just though. He just exposed me. Yeah. Fuck. Like Snitch. five girls met his mom, bro. So nice try. So, so wait, two. wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. This is good. Why is it an expose, Walter? Because I don't want to be like that. <laughs> so obviously Walter wasn't prepared for Myron to do that to him, which is kind of funny. But now Daisy knows like, oh, I'm not the only one who's out here meeting your mom. Bro, what the fuck? Same with Huberman, right? Like, people, like, keep these women going. They introduce them solely into their circles. They make everyone feel special. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's a fed, though. Give him, give him some break. Yo, all you people trying to defend his mom in the comments, moms are the first fucking ones to toxically defend their misogynistic rapist sons. These women who raise these men are literally the first ones to defend them when their boys fuck up and abuse women. So I don't want to hear anything about his mom being a good woman if she's willing to meet all these hoes and not even tell these women, my son's like literally using you. If your mom, do don't even, you know how I know? Because I have dated trash men with good mothers who have told me, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm kind of surprised because no good woman would marry or date my son. And I looked at these women, these moms who have reached out to me, these moms who told me, Brittany, why are you dating my son? He's a loser. Those are good moms. Those are moms who know they fucked up and raised loser boys or had sons who made loser decisions. But the first thing they're gonna do is protect the girls dating them because that's what a real mom does. A real mom does not protect a shitty son. A real mom protects the women who are being abused by her shitty sons. So I don't wanna hear no one protecting moms that if he is truly bringing around women to meet her and she's not sitting here going, um, what's going on here? What's going on here? Now, of course, I don't know this woman, but the way Walter is explaining his mother to the world is making her sound like a bad mom. So if Walter's mom's a good mom, then I'm pro Walter's mom. But if Walter's mom is just exactly how he's describing her, she's the kind of mom that enables bad behavior in her sons. So bad mom. And I, for the record, think most people are bad parents. All y'all get so mad when I call your parenting bad, be a better parent and I won't have to. Be a better parent and I won't have to. You see how that works? I'm trying to use yeah. that to support your claim that that's his main ground. I'm trying to tell you, all girls meet his the mom. All girls meet his mom. All girls meet his mom. Myron is literally saying, I, Myron is literally saying he brings hoes home to meet his mom. Cool. Sold, not told. You understand, Ethan? You would understand that. You have no game. Keep be selling dreams to these girls, bro. It is what it is. It does. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Walter? The game is to be sold, not told, my friend. The dream is to be sold, not told. Okay, that's it from that that I wanted to show you. I'm, I'm literally for real right now, guys. I'm going to be real with you. All these people that get pissed being told like they sucked at their parenting or they did something wrong, you're all just defensive because you know I'm right. Prove you're not a bad parent. Make better decisions. Okay? You know, every time these boys out themselves, listen to people when they tell you stories. Listen to people when they tell you about themselves. The fact that Daisy had unprotected sex with a man she didn't understand or know, that's bad on her end. The fact that Walter was having unprotected, unprotected sex with multiple women, that's stupid on his end. It's like stupid meets stupid. Now, with peace and love, we've all been stupid. I totally get it, right? It happens. But also, what does it mean for the rest of us? So obviously, we don't know these people. We observe their life to know more about our life. I'm trying to observe their messy decisions to make us avoid messy decisions. So ways to avoid messy decisions. Raise better men. Raise better women. Raise them to get tested. Raise them to wear condoms. Raise them to honor their bodies with dignity. Raise them to pick better partners than fuckboy podcasters who literally make a living talking shit on women.
You're telling me Walter has a good mother? Is Walter pr- is is Walter's mom proud of Walter's job? If Walter's mother approves of his job and his work, she telling on herself. A lot of women are misogynistic, bros. Lots of women are self-hating. Lots of women are self-hating. How do you think men have gone away with shit forever? Okay. So again, I want to, like, my heart kind of goes out to this unborn baby, obviously. That sucks. But also, I think most people having babies are totally irresponsible. Lots of people, you know, who want babies, okay, shouldn't be having them. Lots of people that aren't prepared to have babies shouldn't be having them. But it is the way the world has gone, so it is what it is. Human's going to human, okay? So I don't know if Daisy is playing 4D chess with Walter, But I know Walter was playing 4D chess with her. I know he was lying to her and he was leading her on. I know he was the one over promising. We know he was the one talking a big game. We also know that his own co-host just outed him in public about the way he takes women to meet his mom. So we know Walter is shit at least. But we already knew that. He's been telling on himself for years. So now in terms of Daisy, it's hard to know. So let's do this because I want to do this. Daisy what's do we know Daisy's full name because Daisy has let me see here um do we know Daisy's uh like handle like what's her Instagram like how what's Daisy's everyone just calls her Daisy do we even know who Daisy is Daisy Fresh Daisy what's her name see is this her I think this is her Yeah, I think, whoa, I'm going to turn that off. Yeah, is this her? Because this looks like her, I think. Yeah, because this is the picture. This is the video H3H3 used. Okay, nice. She's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, she's gorge. Okay, so this is her. Yeah, she's super pretty. She does not have a lot of followers, though. She is not, she's not have a lot of followers. Okay, so she's cute and everything. I don't know what she does. She keeps saying she has money. I don't know where that money's coming from. I don't know what that means. Yeah, that's all I have on her. That's literally all I'm seeing. And I know she's been going on things and she talked to some people. And from her side, she was in love. She had feelings for him. He led her on. She got pregnant, not thinking it was a big deal. And now she's kind of shocked he's not being a man and marrying her. She said in private, no, not marrying her. Sorry, uh, Daisy doesn't even need to be married. She said she just wants the partnership. So Daisy even said she doesn't need to get married. She's not interested in that necessarily. Um, that she she's okay with just being with him. But the fact that he won't be with her or have a baby with her is shocking to her. Because from her perspective, he's been saying that's what he wants. So, Yeah. So it's kind of interesting. You know what I mean? Um, Ultimately, I think the things that stand out to me the most is people shocked that he's asking her to get an abortion. I don't know why that's that big of a deal. Or two, the people that are shocked she's not getting an abortion. It's like, well, both of these things make total sense, though. Right? Uh, Let me get this straight. So Walter brings every girl to meet his mom as a game tactic to make them think he's serious and she's complicit. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So his game... Is this okay? But this is normal because um, Bus, who was a guest on Huberman, was explaining to Huberman. This was used in the article about Huberman's sex pestery, uh, that men will lead women on as a way to to get them entrenched or attracted to them. So they'll say, "I want to marry you. I want to have babies with you. I want to live a life with you," which is exactly the tactic Huberman used and Walter used and all these men use to take advantage of women. So when people say, well, what does this have to do with, you know, this isn't a crime. What does this have to do with anything? It's about his character. All of these people, all these podcast bros, build a living on talking about good character, gentlemanly behavior. We're good men. Your character sucks, bro. It literally sucks. And you pretending that you have good character is just so funny to me. Now, it might be good character in their bubble, but in my bubble, like they fail as men. This is a failure as a man, as a human, as an adult, gender aside. This is just failure. 
So that's the thing that I think will always be funny to me is all of these people play a big game where they are good people. They have a sense of character. They're dignified. What part of this is dignified? Leading women on, spreading STIs, having, you know, unprotected sex. What part of this is dignified? What part of that is even good for Walter? Walter is so useless. He can't even protect himself. He's so useless. He can't even protect himself. You know, uh, Doc says the video of his mom and Daisy, she looks elderly. It's possible Walter takes advantage of that. I could see that. Walter taking advantage of his mom, uh, using her to sort of validate his relationships to the girls. But Walter's so useless, he can't even protect himself. That's kind of crazy. And he has the audacity to try to help men protect themselves against bad women. Sir. Again, if you want to take advice from Walter, you do you, girlies. You know, if you want to take dating advice from people that can't walk the walk, who can't have good, healthy, long relationships, if you want to take advice from people that spread STIs or get people pregnant or aren't reasonable or safe with any of their sexual activity, you do you. You know, Discord says both of them have a vague idea of what respectable behavior looks like and are settle settling for pale imitations. What I wonder is how aware of it they are. Did she honestly not recognize Walter for what he is? According to Daisy, she wasn't completely aware of the podcast or how it worked. You know, is Walter a one? Oh my God, stop. Brittany confirms Walter is a one. Actually, okay. Do you think he's a one on the introspection scale? Guys, links in the description for my levels video. It's so good, bros. But well, in order to be a one, you have to be useless to you in your own community. Walter sometimes exhibits one behavior in a way. Like the way he was on the iced coffee hour and he was spending money so irresponsibly, so irresponsibly, I was like, oh, Walter's stupid. I know people joke about Walter being stupid, but genuinely I was like, oh, Walter's kind of dumb. He's bad with money. Myron had to literally like vouch for him. And even Graham Stephan was like, uh, but he could tell that if he argued with him over it, like Graham could tell, I think. That if he argued with him, you know what I mean? It was going to like upset fresh and fit. But Walter, because Walter's always like on the verge of crying. You know how it goes. So is he useless to him and his community? Honestly, bro. Honestly, bro. Maybe. But maybe not. Right? I don't know him very well. But it is interesting the way Myron's always protecting him. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But he could just be dumb. You know, his IQ is a one. Yeah, maybe it's just that. You know, maybe it's just that. I mean, honestly, I, I think I was the most shocked when I saw him on that podcast. It made me totally realize, like, Myron really is, like, the brains behind everything, you know. Now, with that said, what now? This comes back to the same thing I've been ranting about for the last year. Listen to people when they tell you who they are. And I'm going to tell you right here, your pussy is not great. It's not the most amazing thing. It's not going to make a bad man be a good man. Your pussy is not going to make a bad man be a good man. Stop picking bad men. Stop picking bad men. You know, stop picking bad men. And some women out here are still going to do it. What about those three other women that he's fucking? Or those other women that he's fucking? Are they sitting here like, maybe I should ditch Walter? Or are they going to keep going? Right? Kenny says, does Myron defend him out of affection or protecting his business? I think it's protecting the business. I think it's because Myron doesn't want people to think that his co-host is dumb. So sometimes they play into it, like with H3H3. But I think it's pretty clear there's like some sort of just stupidity there, you know? But I do think right now there's still going to be women that date Walter. I think there's still going to be women that pick him. And I think they deserve each other. That's why I say it takes two toxic people to be in a relationship. Like, it's not just one person. You know? Space Force says, just let, let's just face it. The human race has, ha has just, is just had its day. I don't know what that means. Let's just face it. The human race has just had its day. I don't know what that means, you know? Yeah. It's interesting. I just, I'm fascinated how, yeah. Ad adulthood really is high school with money, bro. Did you, oh my God, did you see this? I have to show this to you. Oh my God, I've never laughed so hard. My my husband just watched me. I was dying. I was laughing so hard. I was literally 
fucking puking laughing. How do you spell Justin Waller? Justin Waller? Is that his name? Justin Waller? Justin Waller. How do you spell Justin Waller? How does Justin Waller spell his name? Oh my God. You know how much I love to make fun of Justin Waller, but also how much I kind of feel bad for him because he's such a, Justin, is that his name? I feel like that's not his name. That is his name, isn't it? Did you guys see the tweet he put out yesterday? Oh my God. I was dying. I just, I've never felt so happy in my life over the funniest tweet that I've ever seen in my life. It was so funny. How does Justin Waller spell his name? Why can't I figure this out? Oh my God. It's so funny. Aha, found it. <laughs> it took me 17 times, but I got it. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This tweet is so good. Oh, the universe loves me. Oh, the universe fucking loves me. I was just dying at this. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Good evening. Let's take this country back. And it literally has, you know, Trump's son, Baron, uh, PBD, the short king. I don't know who that is. Justin and some other guy. And I just, I'm dying. And I was just, I was ugly laughing so hard in bed last night while I was laying in bed with the love of my life and our cat. And I was dying. I was dying. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's take this country back. You know what, girl? You can have it. <laughs> you know what, girl? You can have it. Ladies, stop fucking these men. Men, stop fucking these men. Boys, girls, theys, stop fucking these men. And I know they're fucking all kinds of genders over here. Stop fucking these men. Okay? <laughs> stop fucking these men. Okay, this is so funny. How embarrassing. You know, I feel bad for Justin Waller. He's ADHD. He's an neurodivergent king. And I, you know, I feel bad for him, you know, because he had a hard life growing up and a difficult mother. And I understand that's so hard. But this, um, <laughs> let's take this country back, she says. Oh, fuck. That's so funny. Jesus, it's so funny. Come on. That's, that's great, bro. 24,000 likes. Let's go, Justin Waller. That is so funny, bro. Kay says this is the cover of the next Avengers movie, bro. It's so funny. Space says it means humanity is over. Humanity is not over. We just don't realize it yet, but you keep the faith, Brittany. God bless and God speed to you. I mean, humanity is going to be over what it is. It's just a like human species evolved over time on a floating planet in space. This whole idea like humanity's at its end, girl. People have been screaming that my whole life. Every year, it's the end of the year or end of the world. Every year, it's the end of the world. Relax, guys. Yeah, America is safe now. <laughs> this is, I'm just, men are gross. I also have decided there's a litmus test I'm giving to people. If you think Andrew Huberman, it doesn't matter what he did or how he treated women. If you think it doesn't matter how Walter treats women, then you're telling on yourself and I'm writing you off. I'm literally writing you off. If you genuinely do not think how dare you lecture women for being sluts and having bad character while you're sitting there existing? The hypocrisy will never not be funny to me. These people have the audacity to make a living mocking women and saying they have bad character while they are sitting here, probably raised by women who they are. I bet their mamas are the same women they're lecturing. I bet they spend their life talking shit on women because they can't say it to their own mama's face. I think they're pussies, bro. I think they want to talk this shit to their mama's face, but they can't do it. So what they do is they get all these women to come on their podcast and they do it to them instead. Ain't no way you've got a good mama and you spend your life talking shit about women. There's no way. I don't believe you, bro. I love good men. My dad's a good man. My dad would call men like this rats. He would call Walter a rat. My dad's a good man. If you're like my dad, we chillin'. If you're not like my dad, you're a bad man. That's basically how I feel. There ain't no way you have a good mama, a good mother, a good spawn bringer, okay? And this is your decision in life. You know? I just don't believe you. But you know, whatever. You're willing to call other women hoes? Look at your own mama. Okay? Okay? Mm-hmm. You 
want to blame these women for being fatherless, I blame you for being mamaless or mama. Hmm, what's worse, a mom that's in your life that makes you a misogynist or a man who leaves your life that makes you a slut? Both are pretty bad. And also, at the end of the day, you got to make a decision. Are you your parents' mistakes? Or are you more than that? Now, of course, you got to go to therapy to deal with that because that shit actually does impact you as a child. And the probability of you not repeating that cycle is unless you do the work. Okay. Motherless behavior. Motherless behavior. Fresh and fit is motherless behavior. All these whatever podcasts, motherless behavior. All the women they have on the show, fatherless behavior. They honestly deserve each other. All you all are parentless. You were unloved as children. You have no one to go home to on the holidays. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I hope she does abort that baby so she doesn't have to have Walter as a dad. Just kidding. All life is sacred. Just kidding. I don't believe that either. <laughs> I did choose violence today. Damn. <laughs> I hope she yeets that baby out of existence so that baby doesn't have to grow up with Walter as a biological connection to her. Just kidding. I hope she has that baby and that baby dishes both Daisy and Walter. Damn. Oh, that's funny. Whew, I'm funny today. Oh, I'm, I'm. It's too much, guys. It's too much. It's too much. All these people, all these people making the dumbest decision I've ever seen and have the audacity Oh, the people I've seen going after Daisy as if to lecture her as if they're not also a piece of shit. These people lecturing Daisy and calling her like a gold digger. Ma'am, look in the mirror. Ma'am, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. You don't even want your own kids. You think Walter wants his? The same people that don't even tuck their kids into bed at night have the audacity to lecture them about parenting. Sir, you don't even tuck your kid into bed every night, sir. Do not lecture Daisy or Walter about parenting. If none of y'all tuck your kids into bed. I don't want to hear it from your mouths. Ma'am. Ma'am. Wild, bro. Absolutely wild. Lecture. Absolutely wild, ma'am. You know who's a better parent than the parents who don't tuck their kids in at night? People who decided not to have babies. People who have had abortions. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Your baby better off dead. I said what I said. Tell the pro-lifers to cry into their tissues right now. But don't come into your tissues because those are babies' lives you are wasting. So don't come into your tissues if you're a pro-lifer. Just cry into a tissue because you don't want to actually risk baby life Oh, by doing that. Oh, God. Somebody take my mic away. Somebody take my mic away. <laughs> Whew. Oh, oh, fuck. I'm so good at my job, bro. I'm so good at my job. Like the stream, guys. I'm so good at my job. Oh, fuck. I just love, I love it. I love, I love hoes throwing stones, bro. I love it. Chrissy says, I hope she has the kid and takes him to court for child support. His bubble is so worried about gold digging women. Girl, I hope she gets every penny, girl. Girl, I hope she takes Myron's fucking retirement, bro. I hope all four of his hoes he's fucking all become pregnant and take him for every penny. <laughs> Honestly, one of the easiest targets I've ever seen for child support. Fucking Walter who's dumb enough to have unprotected sex. I'm telling you, what made him think he could do this? Now, you know what would be really funny? Do you know what would be really funny? Is if she was fucking someone else and it's not even his baby. What if it's not even Walter's baby? Yo, what if it's not even, because they didn't do a paternity test yet, right? What if she was fucking someone else? Because my theory, here's my, here's my conspiracy theory. Walter had a vasectomy, which convinced him to have unprotected sex with multiple women, right? That's my theory. Because why else would he be so confident she wouldn't get pregnant? How could he not be? How could he be like, why would you be confident she wouldn't get pregnant if you guys were fucking dog and raw, bro? Like, what are you thinking? Okay. So my theory is he got a vasectomy, thought it was good enough, had sex with her. She got pregnant. 
how she get pregnant? He seems pretty shocked by that. What if it's not even his baby? What if it's a different baby, but she's milking this right now? Only to come out in six months that it's not even his baby. Or maybe she aborts the baby and just milks whatever she's making off this now. You know? Now, obviously, even if you got a vasectomy, yes, Alex says they can fail. Obviously, they can fail. But at the same time, at the same time, and then when he said, well, I'm going to have to, when Walter said, I'm going to have to check in, right? I'm going to have to check in with the other women I'm fucking. Uh, girl, I hope all the women got together. We're like, let's get Walter to nut inside of us. Right when he's about to pull out, squeeze your thighs, lady, like it's a watermelon, like your lean beef patty about to crush a watermelon, girl. Grab onto him. Grab onto all three inches. Don't let him go. Small dicks are valuable dicks. I'm not body shaming. I'm just saying. <gasps> Grab onto all three inches and get him to come inside you. And then once he nuts inside you, baby, all of us are going to go for child support. Take every penny from this misogynistic podcast that we can. And that, ladies, is how you beat misogyny. That's how you beat the patriarchy. You fuck them, take their money, have them kids. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, God, I hope it's style. <laughs> I really hope it's either his baby or not his baby, because either way, it'd be so funny. <laughs> Fuck, it'd be so funny. Mm. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lexi says not having any context to what Brittany is talking about makes this rant so much funnier, girl. Tafka says, anyone um, anyone old enough to remember the girl who went on Murray Povich and said she was wrong about who the father of her child was like six or seven times? Girl. Girl. Oh, that's so funny. Woo. Uh, also, Discord's talking about Murray as well. Oh, man. I'm telling you right fucking now. I cannot wait. Is is Fresh and Fit live? They're probably not going to be live till way later tonight. <clears throat> How could you fuck someone, bro? Bro, this is why I, do you know why this is why I provide my own birth control? Everyone's always like, "Why do you worry about your own birth control?" Um, ooh, he's going live at 1 a.m. my time. Fuck. Uh, I'll put a notify me on, but I probably I won't be live by then. Um but literally, this is why I provide myself my own birth control. Cuz you know, not that, you know, my partners were unreasonable and we didn't all agree on birth control and condoms and all those other things. But mm -mm, mm -mm. Josh says you would never have this energy for women who behave poorly kind of cringe. You obviously don't watch my channel, bitch. Don't try to be up in my comments like you know me, bitch. Because if you knew me, you know that's fucking not true. Go watch the fuck out of my content. Give a like while you're here. Subscribe. Join the memberships. That's not fucking true because I don't even believe in gender. So fuck you. I go hard on every gender, especially your mom. Went hard on her last night three times. And she told me for sure you're a bitch. She did. That's what she said, Josh. She's like, Josh is a bitch. And I said, that's okay, you too, bitch. Bitch makes bitch. Okay? I go hard on everybody. Okay? That's why I have a strap on. So I can do that. Okay? Don't lecture me, sir. I am basically 35 years old, okay? I'm an adult. I know how to go in on everybody, okay? Everybody, okay? Guys, get your birth control under fucking control. Stop fucking losers. Stop fucking losers. Stop being friends with losers. Stop fucking losers, okay? Stop being losers. Stop associating with losers. Block them all, even if it's your mom, bro. If your mom's a loser, block her too. Just kidding. Be nice to your mom, bros. They had it hard. They have you as a child, so, like, be nice to your moms. Having you as a kid is hell on earth, okay? So, like, send your mom a little, like, flower bouquet today. If your mom is dead, still give her flowers. You know, graves deserve flowers as well. <sighs> Look, okay? Humanity is reflection of us as a whole, okay? Okay? I just, if you're going to keep fucking losers, just say out loud, I'm attracted to losers, and that's why I keep doing it. Okay. 
this denial, this game, you're all playing with yourselves. Like, I pick good people. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? You know? Taylor says it's actually my mom's birthday today, so this is funny. Send her some flowers, bro. Send her some flowers, bro. She deserves it, you know? Jesus. I can't believe y'all out here are so proudly fucking losers. And then these losers have the audacity to lecture people about what's good. Girl, don't fucking, okay? I have your mom's number. I'll call her right now. I'll tell her what you did. Alice says, what's in Brittany's tea today? Ginger and turmeric. Ginger and turmeric, guys. Keeps you sharp. Keeps you spicy. Keeps you spicy, you know? Barack says, define losers because fresh is winning. <laughs> Fresh like rotten produce, bruh. Fresh like the rotten produce they put in the front. So you grab it, but you know not to go for the front because it ain't fresh. You got to go for the ones in the back, the ones that are harder to get. See, fresh like the produce in the front that they want you to buy first because it's going bad. You know, that's what fresh is. Fresh is the produce that's going bad. And you gummies are grabbing the front of the produce. Go one, two, four behind. You feel me? Okay. Don't grab the produce that's already grain. Grab the produce that's strong and green and big. Okay, don't grab the cucumber that's already mushy. Grab the cucumber that's huge, big, and strong. That's hard as fuck. Okay? So again, fresh might be fresh to you. But to me, girl, I see you getting scammed. And honestly, bless your heart because somebody's got to do the work. Somebody's got to do the work. Somebody's got to do the work. And thank God it's you because baby girl, it can't be me. Cannot be me. K.O. says, didn't he literally say the business is failing? Yeah. Fresh in his own DMs to his girl literally said the business, I don't even have money because the business is failing. You know, that demonetization looks a little, uh, I bet they crying about it in their tissues every night. Do you think they cry when they, <laughs> my business. <laughs> You know, fresh already admitted business was bad. Money was low. Probably shouldn't have rented all those cars. Probably just shouldn't have slept with that hoe. And by the way, I don't know Daisy. I don't know if she's actually a bad person. I hope not, you know, but she chose fresh so she can't be that good of a person. You cannot be that good of a person and fuck Myron or, or Walter. You cannot be that good of a person. You can be a good person from a, in a philosophy sense. Like you are probably a good person, but how good of a person can you be? Or how healthy of a person could you be if you're fucking fresh and fit? Just like be real with me right now. So Daisy seems like a sweet girl, but how fucked up is she that she would put out for Myron? <laughs> Sis, it is not the play girl. Not the play girl. If you fuck Walter, you're basically just like telling on yourself. Daisy telling on herself too. She's telling, they're all, everybody always, always telling on themselves. Everybody is always telling on themselves. Girl, my, Walter? Bro, even Myron, even that girl that tried to, H3 tried to accuse Myron of taking advantage of her. Like, girl, she's the one who picked Myron. She's dumb enough to want to be with him too. Y'all tell on yourselves all the time. And this is why these men, think women want them because some women do and they're all shit they're all shit okay so with peace and love I'm sure you're all good people and your mom loves you obviously not enough to raise you well but you know you know all parents fail all parents fail in some aspect of their parenting so but you're obviously unhealthy hello obviously unhealthy so she's telling on herself too. Josh, fuck you. Don't tell me C, Brittany. I just went in on Daisy. I just literally got it all the way to her G-spot. What are you talking about? I already went in on her, girl. You missed it. See what? Your mom, I told you I did last night. I just went in on Daisy. She's dumb enough to date Myron. Dumb enough to get pregnant by him. Dumb enough to trust him. She's stupid too. They're both dumb and deserve each other. Are you happy, Josh? Does that make you happy? Have I pleased you enough? You know, I hear some moms teach their kids. Never mind. Whoa. <laughs> Josh, you almost. Josh. 
Okay? Mm. <laughs> Whoo! Oh. Girl. Mm-mm. Mm. You know, the first time a girl hit my G-spot, I was shook. She was a surgeon. She was a doctor. She had me on the floor, all vulnerable-like, okay? And she hit my G-spot, bro, and I was like, I was singing, singing to the Lord, my poor roommate at the time, bro. There I was on the living room floor, 3 a.m. in the morning, and this girl had her hand all the way up there. And honestly, bros, one of the best nights of my life. Shout out to the G-Spot. Shout out to the G-Spot, you know? Oof. Emily says, Josh almost made you cancel yourself. Josh almost had me. He almost had me. Josh almost had me, bro. Whoo. He almost had me, bro. Mm. Mm. I don't know why we're always shocked when losers be losering. But this is all losers all around. Ugh, can you imagine getting pregnant by Walter? <laughs> oh, it's so funny, girl. Mm -mm, that's funny. That's embarrassing, girl. I would have kept that to myself. <laughs> and then on top of that, Walter has to embarrass. Oh, man. his Everyone's embarrassing in this story, bro. Everyone's just embarrassing in this story, bro. Oh, you know, whatever. It's a shame men don't have the G-spot. You don't need it, bro. You got the prostate. You guys be chilling. You good. You good. You know. You're good. Don't even worry about it. Okay. What now? Is that it? That's the story? Stupid? Got pregnant by stupid? I wish everybody the best. Mostly that baby. Honestly, isn't it funny we force babies into existence just to have parents like Walter and... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sure that baby will have a great life. You know? Ugh. Anyways. All right. I guess that's it, right? Is there anything else to this? You know? Did the membership levels change to bubbles? Yeah. I made them colorful bubbles. I just thought it would be better. You know? I just thought it would be better and cuter and funner. You know? Oh, my God. Purple with the super chat. Let's go. You have me so weak. Laugh emoji. Appreciate you emojis. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bulma emoji in the chat, guys. Oh, fuck. Sage says, course don't matter what they said on the internet. For all we know, he could have her in bed whispering sweet nothings. It's just for cloud. I love you. You're so special. <laughs> what if Myron's in her right now? And he's just like, I love you, baby. You're the best. Oh, my God. We're going viral right now, baby. Nobody was talking about us. We got demonetized. Abba and Preach overtaking us, bro. But you, baby, you're making it all happen. Oh, it's true. Barack says you are jealous because you ain't got no baby. It wouldn't be jealousy. It would be envy because jealousy is you're afraid of losing something you already have. But envy means you want something someone else has. So you would actually say, Brittany, you are envious because you ain't got a baby. Right? And you think that would be true if I didn't have this birth control stick sitting in my arm, bitch, to avoid that baby. That would be true, Barack, if I did not on purpose spend $1,200 to have birth control put into my arm by a female physician so I would not have to have a baby. You are right that if I was without birth control and I, just, and I didn't have it, I probably would be envious. But I am a woman who makes money. And I am a woman who controls my womb. So, okay. Um, but yes, the, yeah, I got you. I hear, I know what you're trying to say. It's okay. It's okay. You know, Barack says English is not my first language. That's okay. It wasn't my parents' first language either. I'm used to dealing with immigrants. You're fine. Eacher, Eacher says Daisy answered questions from Jay Stock, Tree of Logic, and Destiny attacked her. It would be good to react to. Honestly, it was boring as fuck. My audience was also interested in that video, but honestly, guys, it was boring. I watched it. Why do I want to watch like losers lecture another person? You know what I mean? Like Daisy seems interesting. I don't know much about her, but she slept with Walter, so she can't be that cool. And then what do I need to watch? Tree spreads misinformation on the internet. JSTOC creates drama that isn't real. Destiny's blocked. 
for being a shit father and a shit partner. And how dare he lecture Daisy over parenting when he doesn't even tuck his kid into bed every night. Girl, I don't want to hear some deadbeat dad who, yes, might pay his kids bills. Oh, cool. You're basically Trump. You're like, the. if do you think Trump is a good dad? Sure. You're a good dad. Does anyone here think Trump is a good dad? Okay. No, I don't need to watch some video of some losers lecturing another person who's loser enough to sleep with Walter about how they're better than her. You think you're better than this woman? Look at your life. You're literally a piece of shit like the rest of them. All of them are shit lecturing each other about being shit. It's literally losers watching losers lecture losers about not being losers. Ma'am, all these people mistreat everybody around them. All these people lie and gaslight their partners. All these people are shitty people. Spreading misinformation on the internet, lying about people. Girl, don't even fucking start. What do I need to watch losers lecture losers for, girl? No. Oof. Mm -mm. It was interesting hearing Daisy's side, but still. She thought she was in love with Walter. So, you know, I'm trying really on genuinely. Okay, if you want to watch toxic people argue, watch it. It's, you know. Also, you can watch my latest video on Julia and Eileen. Also toxic people arguing with each other, you know. Justin says, I was raised in a single parent household and it's not that important to have someone tuck you into bed every night. Um, okay. I mean, I'm not talking shit on single parenthood. I think sometimes that happens and single parents do step up and they do amazing things. Everyone's on a journey. You know, if you think it's not that important, great. It is for some kids. It's not up to you whether you, it is universally not as important to all kids, right? I think it's important because it would have been important to me as a kid. You can disagree with that. But also as parents, you cannot be surprised if your kid wakes up one day and goes, yeah, I really would have preferred to have a father or mother present in my life than a parent who made money. And also these people literally say, I prioritize work over my kids. I prioritize work over my relationships. I don't know why we let men get away with this bullshit. I have to prioritize the company over my family. Then why do you want a family? Why do you start a family? Why do you force people into existence? So again, not everybody is the same, but you're not going to really know until that kid grows up and tells you, I have to go to therapy now because you decided to make this decision. Especially when you're literally like aware you're doing it. That's like the funniest part, you know? <sighs> Discord says I'm sensing that Brittany is just not taking no shit today and just in a good mood or just in a good mood. I'm in a great mood. I had a great day today. <laughs> Work is good. Money's up. Subscribers up. You know, life is up. Skin is glowing. The sun is out. I spent so much time just in the sun today with my cat. Gorge. I worked out today. Caught up with the family. Everyone's doing great. Um, husband and I deeply in love catching up on anime. We're watching like four animes right now. It's intense. Talk about a commitment. Who has time for kids when there's like a hundred animes you got to catch up on? Just kidding. Kids are lovely. I love kids. My nieces and nephews thriving, beautiful, gorgeous, smart, talented. Life's good today, guys. Life's a great, today's a great day. You know? My husband got me this new tea I'm vibing with, bro. Maybe it's the tea, bro. Maybe the tea is what's making me, mm, 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 you know, you know. Brock says, I believe Brittany's opinion is stupid. Fresh is not the first dad to exist. It's not that deep. Then why are you in my chat, bitch? Why are you in my chat if it's not that deep, bro? Why are you even watching me and giving me views? Just kidding. Stay Stay in my live stream chat. Give me views so I can tap that ladder later, ladder later, 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 so I can tap that later, so I can tap that. Yeah, I got it. Listen, are y'all watching solo leveling? I am. I think it's mid, bro. I think solo leveling is mid. I called it. I'm saying it right the fuck now. He's at halfway to being hot, and I still think it's mid. It's just, it feels like they gave up on the storytelling a little bit. But, you know, whatever. No spoilers in the chat, guys. One Piece still thriving, though. Luffy, guys, Luffy emoji in the chat. I think One Piece still thriving, you know. We're watching the Apothecary one as well, you know. 
Sage says, I think it is deep. Well, I'll say this, whether it's deep or not. Wait, the anime or Walter having a baby? Brock says, does your man shoot blinks or is he in inf fertile like fresh? Don't worry, I love you, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, we're not having babies. So I hope he shoots blinks. <laughs> no, he's not literally shooting blinks. Guys, we're not having a baby. Like, I don't know about you, but unlike Walter, I know how to use contraceptives. Unlike Walter, I have like an understanding of sex education. Like unlike Walter and Daisy, I actually know how the body works. Like I know how to get pregnant or not get pregnant. All these people make so much money and still don't know how sex works. Ma'am, it's not that hard, you know? So ma'am, we're not trying to have a baby. That's why we know how to use contraceptives. They weren't trying to have a baby and yet here we are. Walter said, I'm not trying to have a baby right now. Then why are you having a baby right now, Walter? Did you not pass sex ed? Did you not? I was homeschooled and I still don't know. I know how to avoid having a baby. That's what's even, hello? Walter literally said, I don't want to have kids right now. Then why don't you know what a condom is? Can he not spell it? Does he not know how to spell condom? Is that why? He probably went to the store and instead of picking up a condom, he picked up cardamom and he thought it was the same thing. So close, Walter. So fucking close. You were so close, my bro. You almost had it. You were so close. Literally, what are we even talking about? This man claims he's so good with money, so good with women. He's so smart. How do you get a bitch pregnant? How are you smart and still get a bitch pregnant? Is that the one thing you forgot to learn about while you were buying houses or whatever Walter does, renting cars he can't afford? Ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. That's aw. Shadow B says Walter is unintelligent. I just feel sorry for him. He doesn't even seem particularly malicious. Just really, really stupid. True, 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 true. I mean, ultimately, like, he probably is just really dumb. So it's kind of like, he's kind of like a kid. Oh my God. Josh, stop flirting with me. I am married. Josh, this really can't happen between us. You know, I'm a married woman. I have a wife to take care of. I have a cat to feed. I have to focus my priorities. It can't just be about you. Josh with the super chat says, Walter is absolutely a loser and deserves to get screwed for having unprotected sex with Daisy. But Daisy's playing dumb to extort money from Fresh by leveraging a kid to do it. This is 10 times worse. I think, well, I think for the record, well, I, I think that could be possible. And I honestly thought that when I first heard the story, and I think it could be true, but I also think that's still, that's, that's kind of normal for the bubble. That's why Walter and, and Myron talk about these gold diggers. The fact that Walter fell for a gold digger is kind of funny. But I agree with you that she is a bad person for leveraging the life of a child for money over Walter. That would be very anti-my values, right? Super unethical. I agree with you there. I'm not sure that it's 10 times worse. I think it's about the same. But maybe worse. I'll, I'll give you five times worse. Okay. I will say it is worse to make the decision to do it. But I also think it's pretty bad that Walter wasn't smart enough to protect that kid from coming into existence in the first place. You know, Barack says, don't misgender me. Call me, sir. Ma'am, please don't make me start with you. Why do you refuse to, why do you refuse to have a child as a Christian with your husband? Guys, as a, as a, <laughs> as a Jesus believer myself, as a Jesus believer myself, as a black Jesus follower myself, let me tell you how I feel about him. Black Jesus, Jesus, if you will, has given me so much peace in my life. I mean, he's given me so much family, friends, money, a successful OnlyFans career. You know, I'm one of the top 10 content creators on OnlyFans. You guys should check it out. You would. I know what you're thinking, but it's true. And I thank him every day because he represents so much about what brings us together as Christians. You know, so much of what brings us together, that virginal birthing of him is a representation of so much purity, you know, purity that's missing from the world. You're right. As a good Christian woman, I'm going to have a baby tonight. I'm going to try so hard to have a baby for the next 
three months. I'm going to do it every day, five times a day in your honor, in his honor, in black Jesus's honor. I'm going to do it. You're right. You're right. As a good Christian woman with this birth control up in my arm, I'm going to be trying five, maybe even 10 times a day. In the name of Jesus's name. Amen. Thank you. You know, I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Barack, for reminding me to put out. I appreciate that. I will do that. I will do that right away. I should quit this stream to go start, honestly. That is what a good Christian woman would do, you know? Brock says, if you have a baby with fresh, will you abort it? I literally am a lesbian. I married a woman. I would never even look at Walter. I literally am a lesbian. I couldn't have a baby with Walter. He's literally a man. I'm not even into him. Now, if he wanted to be a woman or if he identified as non-binary, I might give him a chance. But because he's a man, you know? So I'm never going to get pregnant, you know? But if I had Walter's baby, no, I'd keep that baby and extort him for child support. What are you talking about? Obviously, if you're going to have Walter's baby, he might as well pay you. Okay, don't be crazy. You know what I mean? Don't be crazy. Okay. <sighs> y'all, y'all so funny in the chat, bro. Tafka says, I only came across Britney's channel like a week ago and I've been referred to as a girl a few times and I'm totally fine with it. I'm pretty, I find it pretty endearing actually. Look, girl, look. Okay. Girl, gender neutral, you know, in so many ways, you know, I'm just saying. Ambitious, I thought you were American. I am an American, bro. USA. You essay, I just live in Croatia. And my parents are from Iraq. I'm a, I'm a woman of the world. You know how they fly women out to Dubai? I've already been flown out like seven times, bro. Yeah. I know y'all think I'm a mid five, but this mid five, just like fresh and fit are right. We be flown. That's why I'm top 10 on OnlyFans. Because mid fives, we get flown out. I've been to Dubai like 10 times, bro. I've been to Dubai so many times. They fly me out. You know what I mean? I've been everywhere. I've been to Miami. Yeah. They're right. Us fives, we be flown out. Fives, all fives are top 10 on OnlyFans. It's true. It's just, you know, SB says, how can you be an American? You just said you're a lesbian. I'm the first of my kind. I'm the first of my kind. You know, that's what the truth is. It's the truth. The, I'm the first of my kind, you know. <sighs> so. You know. <sighs> yeah, shout out to Fresh and Fit. Every average bitch really be do, they be flying out. You know. Purple with the super chat. Once again, dead laugh emoji. Let's go. I appreciate you guys. Let's go. I'm trying to beat another record this month. I beat a huge record last month and I really want to beat this month. So like the stream. It's free. Send in some chat emojis. Maybe send in some super chats. I've been beating records every month. Would love to beat another one this month. With your help, of course. Lakar says, what would your devil fruit be? Um, uh, Miss Andri, every time I see a man, he lights up in flames. The misandry, misandry fruit. Mm -hmm. Every time a man even looks at me for a minute sexually, foom. You know how, what's her name? They turn to stone. Nah, nah. With me, foom, flames. Yeah, misandry, misandry fruit. Every time they even look at me for a second and have an evil thought, one little mm, thought, foom, flames. The hell of flames consume them. Satan's flames consume them and they die on the spot. And then I'd purposely maintain smex work in that world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep yep you should apologize to the trans community i'm literally the queen of the trans community i am literally a trans queen i why do you think you're so why do you think men are so into me men literally love me because i'm a trans queen it is like their 100 thing 
100%. You know? So, you know, I don't have to apologize. I need my, I'm wearing the crown, girl. I'm wearing the crown, you know? Oh. Mm. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, man, Fresh and Fit, bro, have me on the pod, but you have to pay. I want to be on Fresh and Fit's pod, but you guys got to fly me out. I need 25K just for the flight because I got to take first class from Europe, you know, and then I'd like a little bit of compensation for the room and board and food. And I got to bring probably my husband with me because I don't want to come alone because, you know, she gets scared being at home alone since I'm the protector. I'm the provider. You know, she needs me to. So I want to bring her along. And uh, I'm going to need like, what is that, like 50K? Yeah, I feel like I would definitely do the Fresh and Fit pod, bro. I feel like I, the way I would bring in the views, bro. As a top 10 OnlyFans girl myself, I feel like I could bring in a crowd. I feel like I'm worth that 50K, bro. You know, I feel like that should happen. And then I'll arm wrestle Walter and then I'll win. And then I'll fight a bear. And then Sneeko should be on at the same time so I could mom him because Sneeko knows he's been a bad boy. He knows he's been a bad boy. That's Nico. That son of mine, he's a bad boy. So make sure he's on the pot at the time, you know, so I can fight him and a bear, you know. Let's go Shadow B. With a super chat says, I always feel stupid for super chatting creators who make more than me, but I still do it because I'm a loser. <laughs> now let's beat that record. Thank you so much. Honestly, I also super chat content creators that make millions of dollars. And sometimes I'm like, I don't even know if you need this, but I still feel good like doing it. I think that's what it is. I think we just want to support people we support because, uh, you know, Cody Ko and Noel were talking about this, how they make a lot of money on Patreon and people still subscribe to them, even though they don't have to. And it's just because you, you know that it goes a long way. You know, they are using it for good things. You know what I mean? Rookie says, how much for the Bridges podcast with Erudite and Destiny? Oh, I like Kyla. So that's the thing is Kyla's like a friend. So I don't know. Would, um, if, for me to show up on Bridges, hmm, you know, I might just do it, do it for free, you know, as a friend to Kyla. But honestly, though, flying from Europe to America just to be on a podcast, ooh, that's, that's a lot of stress. So honestly, bro, I don't know if I could, I'm, I don't know. I'm anxious as it is, girl. I'm like an introvert, you know, and without the right kind of dollar, dollar bill in front of that invite, I don't know, bro. So I want to do it for free because Kyla's a friend, but also I can't be flying out for free, girl. I'm running a business. So honestly, 10K. <laughs> 10K and I won't fly first class, huh? I'll fly coach. There we go. You know, are there no bridges in Croatia? Just the ones I jump off of. So just the ones I jump off of, you know. Ah, you know. Man, what are we going to do with these men, bro? What are we going to do with these men? Also, shout out to all the haters who are going to clip this and watch it on their streams. I appreciate you. I love you and your moms. I see you clipping the pod or clipping this or clipping the, you know, and putting cute little titles like L. Brittany. What? What did she say? I love reading the titles. You title your clips. It's like my hobby. You know? Oof. Have you watched Dr. K's vid on venting? He's so interesting and uh, it's so interesting. No, I haven't watched it on venting. No, I haven't seen it. Shout out to Dr. K. We love Dr. K. I guess this is it, guys. I keep trying to wrap up this segment, bros. Are we going to move on? Is there anything else we need to say about Walter? Look, if you fuck Walter, you're a loser. If you are Walter, you're a loser. If you think you're a better parent than Walter, you're a loser. Because you probably aren't. If you're lecturing Daisy about her mothering and you don't tuck your kids in every night, I feel like you're probably a loser. And yeah, to all those parents having babies before they're ready, kind of a loser move. So you better switch your life and become a winner. 
okay? To all those people who are having kids and then ditching them for your loser jobs, you're a loser, bro. And if that offends you, go cry to your mom. Okay, go cry right on her tits. They're soft and big and luscious and bro, you'll feel better. Okay? Okay? Uh. Lexi says, you're the only content creator I watch regularly that I don't get YouTube no recommendations for other people making videos about you. I just assume everyone loves Britney. They all do. Bro, they're obsessed with me. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. That's why you make videos about me. But also, they're upset. They're sad. I block them. They're literally like crying over it. They're literally weeping in their mother's tits. They're literally like, why would Britney block me? They're like, I want to talk to her and she won't talk to me. I know. I know you want to talk to me so bad, bro. But you can't talk to me. You can talk to your mom. Yeah. Well. What if his mom calls him a loser too? Probably does. All these men who dedicate their lives to trashing women have mommy issues. Okay. <clears throat> Sage is like, girl, I know is having a baby. She's a coke addict, but she stopped and improving. I think some people change don't change for their babies, but their babies change them. I agree with that. I think baby, yeah, I think babies can change you. Sage says, my mom had me at 15, but said if she didn't have me, her life wouldn't have changed for the better. I think some people have that story for sure, bro. Yeah. I think some people do have that story. I think it's beautiful when people step up. You know, I do. I think that's fucking good. That's awesome. You know? I think that's beautiful, bro. I think if, you know, if, if there's any good reason to change your life for the better, it's probably because you had a kid. If not for the kid, I mean, if not for yourself, for the kid. But also, it's really more significant when you change for yourself. Too many kids out here are raising their parents. Too many kids in the world are raising their parents. Okay? Okay? That's not good. It's not good. You know? So shout out to Walter. Shout out to Daisy. May your kid be less of a loser than both of you. I'm rooting for that kid. May that kid be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. What's the beef with Destiny? He's mad because I called him a bad dad and since Sneeko was better looking than him. But in my defense, Sneeko's a model and Destiny's a gamer boy. And also he is a bad dad. And also how dare he lecture Daisy over being a bad mother or Walter or anybody else when he literally look in the mirror. But also if he doesn't think he's a bad dad, then who the fuck cares what I think? If you think you're a good person, then why the fuck do you care what I think? Why do you care what some girl thinks on the internet? It's because you take my opinion seriously. That's why you won't talk to me. But it's okay. You're blocked now, so you can't. Man, my songs suck today. Why do you block me instead of talking to me? Because if you faced me, you'd lose the conversation. But you'll yell at women who just got pregnant instead. Because you literally love to give head to Walter and Myron. Walter and Myron. Something like that, you know, you know, anyways, who cares what I think? Literally, if you disagree, fuck off. That's like being mad that a vegan said you shouldn't eat meat. Right? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, why are you mad, bro? Okay. Everybody's so sensitive and sensitive and sensitive. God, these men are so sensitive, bro. And then attack women for being sensitive. Girl. Please, girl. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Are we ready to move on? Are we still going to be talking about these men who right now their haters be clipping my stream? You know what? That's what I love about that side of the internet. They literally clip your stream and review it and then get mad literally have an emotional outburst 
and then be like, women are emotional. Every time there's an emotional outburst, nobody ever thinks to hold the men accountable the way they try to go after women. I'm so bored with you. It's not funny. I'm so bored with you. It's not funny. You know? Lexi says, your energy is so good. You should bottle it up and sell it as bathwater. Stop it. Let's go. Let's go. And Pish says, I'm literally the best parent on earth because I chose not to be one. Honestly, based. Based. Okay? Fuck it. Let's move on, bros. I'm sick of these pussy boys trying to pretend like they're big, logic bros, unemotional, and then have a literal fucking tantrum every time a woman does something they disagree with. Ugh. Men are babies. Not all men. I love you guys. Some men. And you know which men they are because they throw the tantrums. The men who throw tantrums are the babies I'm talking about. In my head, in real life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking yeah i'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool dun, 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 dun. 